Welcome to Virtual Labs for Lincoln 2020 for our at-home learners. I've created an obstacle course in my garage that you can copy and do with the same stuff that you can find at home, or you can use your creativity and create your own obstacle course if you'd like. So on August 28th, when our Lincoln students in person are doing their obstacle course, you're more than welcome to do your home obstacle course to have fun as well that day. Now well, I'm going to go through and show you all the equipment you're going to need and then I'm going to show you how to do the obstacle course I created so you can decide if you want to copy mine or make your own. Be sure to have parent permission before using any household items in your obstacle course, whether that be copying mine or creating your own. I'm going to go through and show you how to do each of my obstacles and then you can recreate this or start on your own. Let's give it a try. The equipment needed for the obstacle course that I created will be a blanket with two chairs, a jump rope or a string that you can walk on, paper plates, some pillows, and then over here we have a spatula taped to a spoon with one ball a basket of some sort, which is right over there. I'm using a laundry basket. And then a towel and a water bottle that is one fourth filled like this. All right, so we're gonna start the obstacle course off with our tunnel. All you're gonna do is go underneath it like this. Once you get to the other side, you can use your jump rope or whatever string you might have, and we're walking on it like a balance So I'm taking my time and trying not to touch the floor. And I'm putting one foot in front of the other. Next we have the floor is lava and I have my paper plates out. I'm going to try to jump on these. I do these before I can step, but I'm trying not to touch the floor. Now once I get past this, I now have my pillow jumps. Each jump is a little bit higher, so you can just adjust this however you would like. I put both feet together and I jump, and then jump again. And then the last one's the hardest. I made it. Yeah. After you do your pillow jumps, you're going to come over to your spatula and spoon, and you're going to try to stomp on it and catch the ball without it hitting the floor. So I step, I catch it. If I catch it, I'm su successful. If I miss it, I have to try again. Now I'm trying to aim my ball by throwing it into the basket over there. You can use any basket you have at home. But if I miss, I have to go get it and try again. So we're going to back step through. I made it in one try. So I get to move on to the towel, and when I get to the towel, I am going to put one, both feet on the side of it, and I'm going to jump one, two, three times over it. And then your last obstacle is the bottle flip. So you take your water bottle, make sure it's only a little bit full. I'm trying to flip it and get it to land like this. So flip. I miss, so i got to try again. I'm going to keep going until I land it. Okay, I got it. Now after I do my last obstacle, I go back to the beginning and I'm going to see how many laps I can complete and however long you'd like to do. At Rob's for Lincoln, we normally do 30 minutes, so you can do it for that long. But see how many laps you can get in and however much time you'd like. No time. 